Hey guys and welcome to my Kill Guide for Season 7. The things I'm gonna talk about are first, rules and masteries, second, the skill order, third, summoner spells, fourth, how to play AD, AP and on it, fifth, matchup and counters, and for the last, pros and cons about cave. Let's go. And by the way, sorry for my bad English. So let's start with the runes. This is like the page I'm using 95% of my games with 24% attack speed, scaling HP and 20% scaling CDR. And if you play against 80 champions, you basically just change the seals to armor. These are my AP runes. I'm using 10 CDR flat, just because to get the 40% with your Nash's Tooth and the Lich Bane. And for the 80 runes, I use 30% attack speed HP per level and 10 scaling CDR. There are also three mastery pages I'm currently using. One for 80, one for on hit and one for AP. So this is my 80 page I'm using. Um, I play with Feather of Battle because um, I think since they change it it's pretty much useless on AP or on hit kill. So I think it fits really well with playing AD Grid Kale. So for playing on the Kale, I'm using this page right now. Uh, I'm not using Favor of Battle, I'm using Stormwater Search. Since I think it's a lot better on playing on the Kale. Because the movement buff that it gives you allows you to kite a lot better than without it. For AP Kale, I'm using the same page, um, just with some difference. Um, I play Thunderlords because I think with Lichbane it's a lot better than Storm Raider Search, but you can also use the Storm Raider Search page for playing AP Kale. Next we're gonna talk about the skill order. You should always max E first, then if you're behind you should max your W, and if you're ahead then you should max your Q. Let's talk about the summoner spells. You should always take Flash first, and second you can choose between Exhaust, OTP, Ghost or Ignite. I personally think that Exhaust at the second summoner spell is like the best at this moment because you can almost one you want everybody with this spell. Um, for TP, you should take it if you're like playing against a really hard matchup and ignite if you want to play really offensive. And for Ghost, you should take it if the enemy jungler has like no CC or is really weak. For the next thing, I'm gonna talk about how to play Kale for AD, AP and on it. So in general, Kale is a really strong champion that scales hard into the late game. The important thing about playing Kale is to farm really good because you need items and they cost a lot of gold. The second thing is to know when you can trade or when you can fight or when you have to ult. Now you can see the three item builds that I'm currently playing for AD, for Onnit and for AP. And yeah, you can just copy them or do whatever you want to. For the early game, there are like two things you can do. First thing is to shove the wave in. So basically what that means is the first wave that is coming, you just try to uh, push it as fast as possible so the enemy um, is under the turret and you can arrest them with your E. And the second thing is that you try to play really really passive in the early game for like the first 10 minutes or so. Because Kale hates to get ganked. She's really weak, she has like no escape. And if you play against like Elise or something that got CC, you're pretty much fucked. For the mid game there's always one thing you should do and that is split pushing. If you play like the on it or the AD build. Um, so if you got like your Nashus Tooth, your Rage Build and your Berserker Graves, you should be able to 1v1 everybody. Especially if you play with Exhaust. And yeah, for the late game, you should have like your items completely full, equipped. And yeah, you should just try to uh, keep split pushing or just to secure some objectives with your team together or if you play like top lane with TP you can just still split, uh, split push and tell your team to like group up as for bot lane 
so you can make a lot of pressure bot lane and top lane as well so that's like a pretty pretty simple but really effective strategy you can use in your games let's move on to the next part and this is the matchups and how to counter her so for the matchups like it's pretty simple a lot of melee champions um, are pretty bad against kale because as kale you can basically just harass them every time they use something with your e but there are quite a few champions melee champions that are pretty pretty cancer so for example um i think fiora and malphite are pretty pretty um, strong against kale because they can remove a lot of attack speed from you so that's pretty fucked up but there are also pretty good counters to kale actually like ranged champions or in general mages um, like leblanc annie um, anivia or lulu are pretty pretty good against her but she is also really good against assassins because the yeah, assassins need to all in and burst you down otherwise they are pretty useless and kale ult is pretty much the biggest counter to the um, assassins right now so yeah so let's talk about the last thing in my guide and these are the pros and cons about playing kale so i'm gonna start with the pros first um you have a really really good kit in general you have a heal, you have ranged attack, you have a slow that scales really really good and you have a, like for me at least the best ult in the whole game. The second thing is that you can almost 1v1 every champion if you play with exhaust but also without exhaust you can 1v1 everybody because your ult is just really broken. Um, the next thing is you have a really really good late game so you scale really really good um, She's pretty easy to play, but I still think she's a lot harder to master than like a lot of you guys think um, If you know when to ult you can pretty much carry every single team fight and you can play her in like every role you can play a ADC, you can play a support, you can play a jungle, you can play a top lane, you can play a mid lane. And I think she's the only champion that can do this at the moment. For the cons, I have a few things as well. Um, she has a really weak early game because her cooldowns are really, really um, high in the early game. So you have to care about it. Um, the next thing is that your core items are really expensive. Um, the Nash's Tooth and the Rage Blade. Um, like CC is the pretty best count at this moment against Kale. And the enemies can pretty much bait your ult out if they know how to do it. Um, Kale hates ganks, so if she get like ganked, she's pretty fucked up. If the enemy jungler got CC. And if you fall behind, you're pretty useless unless you get your full items or at least four to five items. Yeah. So yeah, that's it for this guide. I hope you enjoyed it. If so, then please make sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more. If you got any ideas what I can do next or any improvements, then please tell me in the comments below. And yeah, hopefully you learned something today. And I wish you a wonderful day. See ya. And if you want to check out other videos, you can do it right now. So here are two links for the latest videos. The first one is a montage and the second one is like a really long game highlight video. So make sure to click them and yeah, that's really it. Bye.